What's up? What's happening? What is popping? What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another great edition of Simone with the Spizzers. I'm Simone, bringing you guys daily sports talk. So if you're new here, if you're older and you haven't already subscribed to my channel, stop what you're doing. Leave a comment, subscribe, keep rocking with me. Also, make sure you check out the links down below. The first one is to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel. The second link is to shop the official Simone with the Spizzers a merch collection, get you the classic tea, the wavy tea, and the fly or die crew neck. But y'all, if you have not done anything else, Turn your notification bells on right now so you don't miss a single video or a single live stream. And you know we are live every Monday night for the Birds of Broad Street podcast. So if you have your notification bells on, you won't miss it. But y'all, what's up? How y'all feeling? I'm just going to shake the pom-poms. Every time I come on here, I'm going to shake the pom-poms while we undefeated. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because it feels great. To be one of two undefeated teams left. And let me shake the pom-poms again for the fact we're the only team in the NFC East to get a win in week five. Let's, sh let's shake the dash. Let's shake the dash. Okay, so I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. You know what I'm saying? But, of course, you could always be feeling better. Okay, you can always be feeling better. Y'all seen the title. Y'all seen the thumbnail. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Everyone is talking about trading Quez Watkins. Now, of course, Quez Watkins came back on the field. He has that speed. He's able to stretch the field, get things open for Dallas Goddard in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know all that. We know that. Yes, great. But if Quez is going to be a liability as well, we saw on that third and two, you know, the blockers, Devontae Smith blocking. Yeah. Using all his force and might to block for Quiz. It was a part right open like the Red Sea. More than just a first down. I feel like Quiz could have picked up 15 yards on that play with all that goddamn speed, baby. Take off, you know? But instead, you know, he wanted to skirt off and take off to the sidelines. So everybody's pissed about that play. And if we're going to be... <sighs> We saw so much. Okay, so Nick Sirianni basically said, you know, his speed, his speed, his speed, going to keep him on the field, yada, yada, yada. We don't want to hear none of that, Nick. You know what I'm saying? Because if he's going to be a liability on third downs, if he's going to be a liability at all to this offense, it's going to have to be more than just speed. There's there's a lot of speedsters um, around the league. Shoot, Devin Allen, go on, bring him up just to run down the field for nothing. You know what I'm saying? But anywho... I don't like the fact that Quez was on the field and Alameda Zacchaeus wasn't. We saw in back-to-back -back games, the game against the Bucks, that chemistry between Jalen Hurts and Alameda Zacchaeus, boom, was already there. That that dot, that and that was a, that was not only a dot by Jalen Hurts, that was a great catch by Alameda Zacchaeus, that touchdown catch against the Bucks. And then we saw in the Washington game how Alameda Zacchaeus caught that big third and eight. I'm pretty sure it was like third and eight, third and seven for us. Another good catch because the ball was really low from Alameda Zacchaeus. And then we go into this game and see – Quez is healthy, so we just automatically elevate Quez. Alameda is just out there blocking. Like, what? When we've seen so much good things from Alameda Zacchaeus, so much reliableness from Alameda Zacchaeus, so much chemistry between Alameda and Jalen. And you even see on when, when Quez was open and in the back of that end zone, come down me, Jalen, come down me. You know what I'm saying? Jalen didn't go to him. You know what I mean? Because that, that's a lack of trust. That's a lack of trust. And who's to even say Quez would have caught that ball? Who's even say Quez would have caught that ball wide open, y'all? I'm not even trying to be funny. I'm not even trying to be funny. So I just think it's poor. It's just poor preparation to be. It's just poor game planning to have Quez in the game um, um, over Alameda Zacchaeus. We've seen a lot of good things from Alameda. And why do we bring Alameda? Why do we bring Alameda? Because we felt like we needed to upgrade that position. But now we're going back to what's comfortable and what we know. Alameda has produced the last two games. Jalen has shown he likes to go to Alameda. Alameda has shown he can make plays. So why is Quez in the game over Alameda Zacchaeus? I don't get it. I really don't. Um, so there's that. So people are saying trade Quez, trade Quez, trade Quez. At this point, I'm fine with trading Quez. We know we're not going to extend him hopefully, hopefully. We know he's not going to be here long term. So let's get some value back. From Quez Watkins, whether it's a pick, a draft pick, um, probably a fourth rounder we'll probably get for somebody like Quez Watkins, or if it's included in a package to get a player like uh, um, uh, Jeremy Chin, 
from the Carolina Panthers, a safety. Upgrade that safety room, include um, Quez Watkins in that package because we know the Panthers, you know, they want some young pieces and some young playmakers around Bryce Young. So there you go. Boom. That's somebody you can put with Bryce, you know, help grow with Bryce, you know what I'm saying, be his favorite wide receiver three or something, you know what I mean, and throw him in a package for somebody like Jeremy Chen. But I definitely think with the trade deadline coming up and from what we've seen so far, from what we've seen from Alameda proving himself and what we've seen from Quez still on that same G, I feel like we need to just go ahead and see what we can get back for Quez. I don't think it's an overreaction at this point. And if he's on this Rasta, then the team is going to obviously try to force him into the game plan, which, as we saw, can become a liability, okay? So let me know what y'all think. Uh, make sure you like this video. Leave a comment, subscribe. Keep rocking with me. Check the links down below. Buy me a coffee at this channel. Shout out to the Fitch Small, this business, merch collection. Until I'll see you guys next time. Bye.